like, listen, they were missing a lot of guys. Mm -hmm. And I didn't hear that as an excuse once. Which is nice because in the past it would have been. Yeah. Like, um, you know, I think coaching. What, what, how do you evaluate a coach? Like, I know a lot of people don't like him right now, mm -hmm. but there are so many things that happened in that game where I'm like, Sheldon Keefe didn't tell you to do any of those things. No. That Max Domi pass in the 5 3 goal. That's the one. That's Uncle. the one that I got the most gripes with. By the way, I, what kills me is he'd had a great game up to that point. Yeah, he had. He had been a great game, but at what? no level of hockey do they tell you to spin around, blind pass the puck to the middle of the ice. And that's one of the best. Like in terms of playmaking vision, he's literally at five on five, mm -hmm. one of the most productive playmakers in the entire national hockey league yeah and his vision was looking at the boards and passing it behind his head like, he, he it was ridiculous by the numbers has one of the most gifted playmaking minds in the sport and he did that like you you talk about the leaders on your team like shouldn't isn't that one of them mm -hmm. he's not like a kid anymore he's been in the league or he was drafted nine years ago he's, he's been in the conference like finals six teams yeah, he's been oh, around. Man, the chances he's had. I know I've harped on this before. How did he get 28 goals? How? I uh, Oh, my God. The amount of chances I wish he would bury. But, um, you know, just that uh, nice Holmberg robertson line, please don't subject us to us, uh, subject us to that ever again. Mm -hmm. um, Jake McCabe has got to uh, pull his head out of you know where. He's had a horrible last couple games. And he's had a pretty good season, but man, his bad games are horrible. Um, Lilligren, I thought, had a pretty good game, except for on, uh, I think it was the third goal, he decided to drop into the butterfly in the middle of his goalie's crease. Wool allowed a bad goal. And uh, I'm trying to remember like what they all were. It was just, it was a game lost in the moments. And right. that's when, that's how the playoffs are won. Yeah, can we do a freeze frame of this one? Because this is this feels like a moment where the Leafs and Bruins, it's 1-1 one, one in the third. Yep. Look at and that. This... Matthews has nine shots. <laughs> yeah, nine shots. That's the graphic on screen. And this is, it's 1-1 one, one in the third period. And this is the mistake that Jake Gardner makes. You know, yep. uh, Justin Hall makes. Yep. And yep. Here, it's Max Domi, unfortunately. It's the spin around. I'm not looking. And just in this moment where you're looking for a goal, you make this ugly play. And we can, we can watch it here. Um, the puck's going around the boards. It comes up to Max. Max Domi, who's around the blue line. He gets it along the boards. He's facing the boards. And what he decides to do with the puck while facing the boards is spin without looking and send it right to the middle of the like, ice yeah. to Timo Meyer. Wow. And, like, and, and you see egregious. Timmons backing up. It, Timmons, who is an offense first guy with 320 to go in a game that you're losing, is like, nope, don't give me that. And, and and or you're trying to get it to Benoit. Hey, I have a crazy suggestion. Off the boards to the best goal scorer yeah, on the planet. He, he received, whose defender is skating away from him? He received the puck on his backhand. He could have just flipped it back. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Matthews, the puck went right over Matthews' stick, unfortunately. He couldn't grab it there. And Domi just decides to send it right to the middle of the zone without looking at anything. There's no chance he starts on the top line next game. Like just like from that alone, right? Like if you're looking, well, I don't know. Maybe yeah. that's too extreme, but like if you're looking to send a message, yep. there's no way he starts. So on, it's on it, the no. top line it's next tape week. to tape to Timo Meyer who takes no, it. No, that's who's uh, Kurt, Curtis Lazar. Oh, sorry. Lazar goes yeah. the other end. Yeah, Lazar takes it. He goes uh, all the way to the other end. Jack Hughes. Jack Hughes <laughs> gets it. Jack Hughes. One on one on the goaltender goal. That's game. That's got to be the worst <laughs> like three, four seconds of like Max Domi's life. Like, that what, that reminds between me of the Montreal giveaway series. and the goal. <laughs> that's a Montreal series. That's Travis Dermott. That's what I'm saying. That's uh, Alex Galchenyuk. Yeah, that's Galchenyuk. Yeah. And like you talk about a series where, I mean, through seven games, cumulatively, they were the better team. Yep. Mm -hmm. But um, those mistakes, they bite you in the ass come the playoffs. And I like if we're screaming about this, Sheldon Keefe is talking to him right now, mm -hmm. hopefully not making jokes. Um, <laughs> I and, don't. I don't think he is. Jesse. No, and not like, today. He he's beating this out of him right now, and he he knows. Like if if we know, he knows that you can't make these mistakes. And I hope that come playoff time, this isn't I mean, happening. Not 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 to uh, 
have people who don't deserve it catching strays, but if William Nylander <laughs> is accosting you for not paying attention to your defensive details, yes. uh, maybe pull your head out of your ass. Yeah, yeah. And and I think I think it's good to see William Nylander stepping up. I think it's good to see Austin Matthews stepping up. I think if you watched the, H, uh, the Amazon documentary, you could see John Tavares, you know, trying to get super intense in that last intermission before the last period of the game. Mm -hmm. And, and that is not, I wouldn't say that that's John's forte. I don't think John Tavares would tell you that he's the most character, uh, uh, charismatic guy. What John does and what was great for this team and what is great is he leads by example. Well, he's supposed he's, to be the level head. He's, he's the level head. Um, and, and, and listen, the skill set is diminishing, but he's still an extraordinarily effective player. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think he'll come back next year. Uh, he's one of those guys that, where whatever his weakness is, he seems to come back and try to improve on it. Yeah, and eventually time negates it. For yeah. sure. But he's, I think he's done a, a very, very good job. I don't think he had a great game last night. No. But I think it's important, and I've said this for a year and a half now, I think Matthews needs to be the captain here pretty soon. And it's gonna happen. stepping up and talking to the team after a loss like that is captain shit. Mm -hmm. And he it, needs to do that. It takes more than one. Of course. And I think there's probably more to it than that. Yeah. Um, I also think this is a great reminder in a low stakes game for the Leafs, right? Because they are probably going to finish where they're going to finish, right? Unless there's some gigantic the lightning. Streak. The lightning are right there charging and they have two games. Uh, the lightning and Leafs have two games yeah. head to head. Okay. So oh, wow. there's, there's a shot that the Leafs could fall down to a wild card in spot here. Including the second last game of the season. Yeah, but... So I outlined this in the video yesterday. If you bring up the standings, mm -hmm. if the Leafs do fall to that wild card spot, I don't think it matters. You're okay with it? Well, because no matter what, they're not going to have home ice advantage in the first round. Mm -hmm. They're either going to be the... Th I mean, there's a super off chance they pass the Panthers or the Bruins. I don't. They're think not passing happen. Florida. No, it's yeah. not going to happen. Let's rule that out. So they're either going to be the third seed, which would... Uh, start on the road, or they're going to be the wild card team. If you could scroll down just a little bit, um, so as the third seed, they're either playing the Bruins or Panthers. As wild card seed, there's a really good chance they either play the Bruins or Panthers because the Rangers are the top team mm -hmm. in the East right now. Um, or you know, there's an off chance maybe you play one of the Metro teams, which honestly you might even prefer. Yeah. Like it just yeah. I whether whether they I mean the worst part of the Leafs dropping down to the wild card spot would be uh, they obviously haven't played very well mm -hmm. and guaranteed and, no home ice throughout the playoffs basically well and that too I mean uh, as the third seed you're probably not getting it anyway um, I, I I think you're beyond worrying about that I th I think you just need to play your best whether you're at home or on the road and I don't know if you've seen the Leafs friggin' home record versus their road record. Um, good that they don't have. Uh, they were one in five. Yep. They finally won a round last year. They were one in five at home. Yep, that's unfathomable. Why yeah. is that? Why? Yeah, you said it yesterday. I don't remember the fans. Oh, the fans. <laughs> yeah, I was. Joking. <laughs> it was that you were being sarcastic. I was being sarcastic. It's just such a hard market to oh. play in. Oh. Matt, 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 <laughs> Matt, he's doing, doing the wave. wave. <laughs> it was the oh. wave. It's the wave. Oh man, you got what you <laughs> deserved. Wave. We need um, a Matty cam. That's so funny. Uh, yeah. I mean, listen, there's a... Uh, listen, I'm, I'm not worried about last night's game. I think you had... No. I think uh, the third thing I do want to talk about with last night's game, though, is Joseph Wall. And that's two games in a row. First shot goes in. Keith even mentioned it in the... I'm sorry, but we can't. That's not acceptable. It's not okay. Yeah. It can't. Um, we can't. We literally cannot do it. And if you see his press conference afterwards, you see how remorseful he is. What I'm concerned about with Joe Wall uh -huh. is that he's got the Jack Campbell syndrome of he's too hard on himself. Well, because you do move on from a game like that. You need to. I thought he was the only reason they were even in the Carolina game. Yeah. Um, but, and like he, allowing the first shot. I mean, the first shot in the Carolina game was Jake McCabe. Going mm -hmm. between his legs, like in front of them, like what the f what are you doing? Sometimes you need to save, Steve. I d agree. I agree. And last night, the you, Hughes breakaway gotta, they could have used to save. There's yeah, plenty of time. I don't. I don't care that it's a knuckler. Yeah, you got to make a save. JD Bunk has had a meme. Um, it was that uh, um, uh, Joseph Wall lets in a bad goal, and it's like, oh, it's okay, you sweetie pie. And then uh, Ilya Samsonov allows a bad goal. Hello, human resource. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and that is kind of how he's treated. Yeah. Um, I mean, Wolves got the net here. 
um, a little bit um, until Sammy recovers. I'm okay. whatever. Who do they? Play I think tomorrow? we are. It's got to be good. I think I think Adam's right in that people are a lot harder on Samsonov than Wool. Yeah, like the, the the what was what was Mike Johnson's line? Tim Wakefield would be proud of that knuckler, the first one that went and went yeah. in. This is like, yeah, it's a knuckler, but you want to save that early in the game. You can track them. Like yeah. you're you're allowed to stop them. Right. Yeah. You're allowed to like. And it wasn't like it was through traffic. It was one on. There's two guys there, yeah. and the, it was then you, the goalie, and I think you need to save that. It was a the shot was from far enough. It wasn't at like lightning speed. No. Like, Man, By the way, really I, like your goalie to get in front of. I think game. it's also important that people know that Joseph Wool is not a child; <laughs> he's twenty five. He's older than you think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And Samson Tw- twenty sixteen draft pick. Yeah. yeah. So it's it's he like, can take some criticism. He can take some criticism. He'll be okay. And and the, I actually like that Sammy's not going back in next game because of the whatever he you know he got banged up or whatever in the last game. There's no reason to rush him. I there, think there should be no game time decisions in late. I know, but 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 more than that, I think. You need to get Wool to sort things out. He missed a good chunk of the season with the high ankle sprain. Mm-hmm. He was playing well before that. Let him sort it out. Again, as I said to you guys, I think these are relatively low stakes games. Um, you know, obviously you want to lock up the playoffs. And I get that. I understand that. But get him in there and get as many reps as possible. Okay, you had a bad night. Well, you're going in tomorrow. Yep. And yep. and okay, stop the first shot tomorrow. Let's see you do it. And I think that that is a confidence thing. Joseph Wall didn't forget how to play goaltender. It's all between the ears, and he can sort this out very, very In quickly. his six games since returning from his injury, Joseph Wall is an 884 and 2 and 4. That's pretty bad. He needs to sort that That's out. That's not good. And, and tomorrow you got the Capitals, who are hot, mm. and you killed them last time you played them. Um, so it's going to be a tight game. Ovechkin hat trick? Tight game against a hungry team. I friggin' hope not, Jesse. <laughs> 